Holly at American Tiger Martial Arts and Fitness. So I'm going to demonstrate Advanced Lesson 1A, or A1. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be a lesson where there's going to be a choke using a, a weapon. So this is a weapon lesson, and it would usually be something solid. So there is a variation. For, so for the first variation, we're going to use this foam stick. It's about the same size, but there is a hip throw involved, and I don't want my partner to get get hurt, so I'm going to bring out my partner. This is Mr. King, and thank you. So, on this one, you have to imagine that that's a solid a pipe or a piece of wood or something. So, what's going to happen is somehow he's gotten up behind me and he's, he's choking me. The first thing you want to make sure you do is hook into the, to the, to the pipe or the club and pull down. A lot of people's natural reaction to being pulled back this way is they want to pull away. You're stronger if you hook in and pull down. If you have to do it with two hands, that's fine, but one hand should suffice for this lesson. So he's there, he's trying to choke me. I hook down and I plant it so it's like um, lodged against my chest as I chop or backhand to the groin. So I do this. Boom. And you see I can, I can breathe now. Now the, the first variation of this lesson is I'm going to go straight to a hip throw. He's been hitting the groin, he's pretty loose. I'm going to bring my hand down and up underneath his uh, armpit and put my hand onto his, his back or his shoulder. And I'm going to get my hips underneath his hips and I'm going to reach up, get him off the ground with my hips, twist, and he goes to the ground. Then I'm going to want to um, pin him and strike him. If he has this in his hand, it's okay. Or if it's got lost in the middle of the lesson, that's fine. If you have it with you, you can use the the weapon, but either way, you just want to make sure that uh, you, you do a strike so that you can safely get away. So again, we're here, you're getting choked. Reach up, make sure you got some air, pin that against your chest as you either chop or backhand to the groin. I prefer the backhand. So I step out, clear the way for the backhand to the groin. Come around, grab. Some people are worrying about the club at this point. Um, if you want to get rid of it, that's fine. but main thing you want to do is just lift your partner up, come around, then drop to the ground, pin him, and then just strike. So I'll show that one all the way through and then I'll show the variation. It's probably a little bit more practical, but this one's kind of cool, so a lot of people go cool over practical. So we're here. He done got me. He's got me. So I'm going to ha! So we'll continue on and we'll go ahead and use this one because this, the next one isn't going to involve any kind of hip throw. Like I said, a bit more practical. The, if your attacker is bigger, for sure more practical. So if same thing's happening, he comes to put that across my throat. I'm still going to hook into this so that I can breathe and I'm still going to backhand him in the groin. So I step slightly out with the left, backhand the groin. But instead of um, worrying about the hip throw, I'm just going to twist up and do a backhand to his face. Backhand elbow, sorry, to his face. And then, I'm, now I have the club. I'm going to take it, step, and strike. If you have it in your left hand, step, strike. It doesn't really matter, but you'll probably at that point have the weapon yourself, and you can redirect it at your attacker. So again, I'll explain a little bit slower, because make sure you got it. Same beginning, you're going to hook down, strike to the groin. Bring your arm down, strike up into the head. It's a, a back elbow is a great shot. And then you just attack however you want. That time maybe I go to the ribs. All right, so I'm do it regular speed. So I'm standing here. Hips up. Ha! 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 So that's less, uh, dance lesson 1A.